In Camtasia Studio, oftentimes people wonder how to make a webcam recording. And we can see that I've got a project open here in Camtasia where I do have my webcam showing right here. And you'll note that it's in the lower right corner. The uh, webcam track is right here on the timeline. It's track number two. Sometimes folks want to start off with a webcam at full size. And what we'll do is to Make sure the webcam is zoomed up here. Now the webcam on my computer uh, looks like it has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So I might need to put something behind that to cover up and mask out. You know, perhaps a call out. Let me throw a call out on here. And I'll put the call out here and stretch it out. Just to give me something to allow people just to focus only on the webcam. So when the webcam is showing. Now the webcam is, is now behind the call out. So I need to raise and put this on the upper layer here. And now we can see I have a nice blue background with the webcam showing behind me. So I need to probably stretch that out. And let's say that you want the webcam showing at full size for about this long. And at this point, what you really want is the webcam to shrink down and be presented in a different place, maybe the upper left corner of the screen. So what I'm going to do is to click and give the webcam track focus. And I need to go to my visual properties because in my visual properties, I can add an animation. So right where I want that animation to occur, I've got my playhead here. I click Add Animation, and you can see that we get a little gold triangle right here on the track. So what I want to do then is to take the webcam, and I want to move it, and I want to shrink it down. And that is now going to make the webcam do its thing as far as how it goes. So you can see now if I just zoom in on my timeline, I'm creeping along, the playhead hits this point, and what's going to happen is the webcam is going to shrink down and go to the corner where I wanted it and be smaller. Now this background is kind of in the way, so I need to perform something with the background here. What I think I'm going to do is just to give the background focus again through the visual properties. I want to add an animation to this filled round rectangle because what I want it to do, notice it's matching identically the timing for the webcam. So what I want it to do is to probably take the opacity and pull it down to zero. So what will happen then is that will fade out at the same time the webcam is shrinking. So if I put my playhead here and play, it shrinks down, that fades out, cool. And over here, I'm going to pause. And maybe I've done my talking. Now I want my webcam to come back up and be large again and fill the screen. So once again, give focus to track three. And from the visual properties, click Add Animation. And of course, what you want to do is to pull the webcam back out so it's the size you want it to be. And I'll move this more toward the center. Stretch it out just a bit further. And again, I've got this little line indicating that, uh, you know, the arrow, that's where it's going to grow back up. And again, I probably want to fill that area, the pillar boxing, that's what that's called when you have columns on the left and the right. So what I want to do is to give focus to track two where that caption is, or that call out. Click add animation again, and this time bring the opacity back up to 100%. So what that will do then is as the webcam is fading or growing in size, it's going to fade that back in. So I'll click here, I'm going to play. And as you can see, it shrunk down. I'm seeing my screen. It shrinks. It grows back up. So that's what's involved in making this stuff work. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.